Welcome to video number four on creating a custom DNN skin using Bootstrap 3. Today we're going to create some panes. We're going to use the boot, Bootstrap grid system to create the panes. And even though this is not really a Bootstrap uh, how-to video, we're going to look at doing a call, making a couple calls or making calls to two different grid systems on the same pane so we can see how we can change the stacking order of our panes. So let's get to where we left off. We left off. This is where we're at. We had our skin objects. We put the bootstrap menu in. And we have the content pane, which is the only thing required other than the very top register, uh, the language control there. Uh, that's required to actually have a skin, but today we're going to add more paint. So let's look at what we have right now. Uh, that's where we left off. And we left off here. We have this HTML module in our content pane. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this HTML module. Refresh. And we're going to view in our layout mode, and you'll see all we have is the content pane here. So let's let's uh, go to skipbootstrap.com and let's look at their grid system. And their grid system shows different ways of creating responsive columns and rows with Bootstrap. So we're going to use, but primarily this one right here. And let's just go ahead and just just show you. It'd be the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and. Uh, the first one I want to do, we're just going to add us a top pane. Now, each pane has to have its own unique ID. And so that's where really the thought has to go into on what you want to name your panes. But let's go ahead and let's give this a div. And we're going to give it an ID. And we'll call it top pane. And looking at the bootstrap grid system, we have 12 columns to work with. All together, it can be divided up in any number of ways. My top pane, I'm going to make it 12 columns wide. So we're going to give this a class. It will be call MD12. And in order to make this work as a pane, we need to do a run at server. And let's save this. And let's go refresh this page and see what happens. And you see our top pane showed up. If we go to uh, let's get in edit mode here. And we wanted to add a new module. And I'll go ahead and select uh, common HTML and I want to add it to the top pane. And let's add a little stuff here I've already got. And we'll go edit. Let's go to the HTML view here. And let's get back out of this. Let's close edit mode. And view in layout mode. You'll see it's in there. And you'll see that it's in the top pane there when we go there. So let's, uh, let's just add a few more things. Let's add three columns. We'll get this ID equals uh, three column left. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right now real quick. And we'll make this three column middle. And three column right. And we'll get this a class.
call hyphen md see it'd be uh four right three times four is twelve so four and we'll just go ahead and well let me go ahead and get run at server we'll do both of those are you run at equals server and let me just go ahead and copy all that Let's save that. Let's refresh. And you'll see we have the three column middle, three column left, and three column right. And we see that at the appropriate breakpoint, they start stacking up. All right, so let's add a little bit more. And we'll do a one content. And so we got that done. Let's uh, the left side we will give uh, eight columns to. So and this one here we'll give So eight and four is twelve, right? So we filled up our full twelve. And let's go ahead and save that. Let's take a look. And we'll see we have our we have eight columns here and four columns to the right. So I'm gonna add a few more here. I'm gonna pause this, add a few more, and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, I've added a, a little bit more, primarily uh, this right here. And we're gonna just take a look and see what it did. We'll go ahead and refresh. And you'll notice we have a uh, basically I just switched these two, made them on this side, and you have. I made four columns, or yeah, yeah, four equal columns on the bottom. Whatever ones you're not using and you don't have anything in, they just collapse and go away. So you can lay out your skin all different kinds of ways and just only use what you need to use. But let's look at it how it stacks here. You'll notice that at a certain breaking point, it all stacks up. But on these four column ones, I'd rather have them two by two. So let's see how we can do that. We can go to Bootstrap, looking at their grid system. Let me see where am I at. It's your grid options. You have something called extra small. Yeah, right here. Extra small will allow a two-column stack at a certain break point. So you can add that class right in. You'll notice we have uh, call MD-3 to divide it up into four equal parts when it's full screen. And we'll go call hyphen xs hyphen six to make them stack two by two so let's go here let's throw it in here throw it in here throw it in here save that let's go refresh and watch what happens at that breaking point, instead of stacking straight up like this, it's stacking uh, two by two. And it will do that all the way, going all the way down. So, that's taking a look at how the bootstrap grid system works. Uh, we can stick an HTML, I'll just stick an HTML container in the, in the bottom there. Just so you can see quickly that this does work. We'll add the four column two, and just so you know it works, it is there. And that's really all there is to uh, creating a pane, working pane. Next video, we are going to work on creating uh, containers for our various panes, for modules, so we can add some quick and easy styling effects. So we look for that next video. 
can you catch up on all the videos on my website at www.skeeterz71.com just look for the dnn skinning course you'll see them all there and the materials used in this the source code used in this will be provided at my website so you can just go right there and, and download the actual code if you'd like if you uh, prefer not to follow along again skeeterz71.com is full of all kinds of tutorials they are all free uh, Adobe Creative Suite, WordPress, Bootstrap, CSS, HTML, all kinds of free video tutorials for you to check out. You have a good day.